Well then, it's still frozen. Alright, you're on. FD. Go ahead. All right. I'm really excited for Eat Girl. Uh, this is a dot-eating adventure game. If you're wondering, what does the title mean? It means Pac-Man, but indie. Uh, and my name is Frozen Flygon, and with me I have Comet as my commentator. You want to say hi, Comet? Hey, I'm Comet. Uh, I'm going to commentate this run. Awesome. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of fast-paced things that go on, so he'll be able to take over for me um, when I'm trying to focus on getting all these cycles. But uh, let's get started in three, two, one, go. So a decent part of this game is also moving around on the overworld between levels. Um, and here we get to our first portal called Only Soul. Um, each level is a determined uh, set of what's going on. So there are certain enemies, certain dots. Yeah, that was a bad move. Um, you have to eat all the blue dots, pink dots, and then yellow dots uh, to complete each level. Yeah, and you'll see that uh, that uh, as you move, oh. the uh, your character slowly starts moving faster. And uh, we call that P-Speed just because it it just looks pretty similar to uh, to P-Speed in Mario 3. Um, this gurgling is being the worst right now. Yeah. Oof. And, but uh, with P-Speed, the more you turn, the faster you can build it up. And so you want to be able to... You want to try and turn as much as possible so that you can pick up more speed. And then once you have P-Speed, which that when you when you see that yellow trail behind you, that's when you're at max speed, um, that's when you can uh, break through these wooden crates. And so that's used uh, in a few levels. These are our worms. They move on kind of a predetermined path, but in this level, it they move depending on what boxes you break, so it feels kind of random. Um, this level's pretty tough. The worms can be hard to move around. Alright. And you'll see me menuing when I get into the portal. Um, it's faster to just menu back um, instead of waiting for the portal cutscene to happen. So we always menu there. Yeah, just returning to maps, it still counts as beating the level, even though you're not watching the actual clearing animation. And here we have a level full of our RNG friends, uh, and this, this level can be kind of rough. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Do not do that. <laughs> so, these gurglings get angry at you, and charge, and that's what I'm trying to avoid at this very moment, but okay. <laughs> Moving into Aquarium, we get to see a new enemy called Gordo. Um, they shoot from all four directions, and if you get close to them, like I apparently just did, they will sit there and explode, which in this level is some time loss. In some levels, we need them to do it, um, which you'll see later. So you really gotta keep track of where all of their, like, electricity bolts are throughout the screen. It can be really easy to be on one side of the map and you just- you don't see them shooting at you. Yeah, and then their, their random movement makes it pretty impossible to- Yeah. To predict where it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, we, we have routed most, uh, RNG, or a lot of it. Like, most of, like, the run-ending RNG, um, out of the run. Yeah. Um... The level right there with the four Greglings was, I think, is where most of it is. So, yeah, um, it's rough. <laughs> but since in any percent you only have to complete 18 of the levels in the game, um, you pretty much have a choice of which 18 um, you, know, you want to beat. So we've routed out a lot of the levels that have the bad Greglings. Yep. Definitely gone for some of the more consistent levels. These are our flippers. They always go on a, a predetermined path. Uh, this is just one of the levels you really just have to practice and get the cycle down. 
but it's over pretty quickly if you do it right. I forgot to break the boxes. <laughs> so yeah, overworld movement is actually a you know pretty significant time like chunk of time in this, knowing how to get between each of the levels fast, maintaining your P speed throughout the overworld. Oh, I missed that cycle. Okay, so this is the first level where uh, where stopping is really necessary. It does show you at the beginning of the game that you can stop, but uh, it's not used until now. Um, well, it is used in the run, but it, it's not necessary in the casual playthrough. Yeah. Um, and stopping is what it allows you to do. It, it allows you to keep the uh, amount of speed that you have, but stop in, uh, in one spot. Um, so it's good for... Uh, uh, so it's good because you can wait for like an enemy to go by, but you can still keep your speed so you don't lose too much time. Yeah, it's really useful, especially in the speedrun. Microlife kind of looks like worm food that we saw before, um, but with the addition of these flippers that make it much more difficult. This is another level I've kind of I've just kind of practiced a lot and gotten confident with. Because this yellow, the yellow dot section can be really scary. Power Surge is a really cool level. This is where you see that the Gordos can break the boxes for you, and we have to use that to our advantage. But yeah, so if you, you have a little bit of time from when you activate them to move out of the way, so you saw, saw me do that there. And I, you see me kind of wiggling on the overworld, and that's because we talked about how turning increases your speed faster. So if you turn a bunch on your way, uh, you're gonna get P speed as fast as possible which we want to do. All right, and this is Greg. Um, he, uh, he, is, he haunts the, uh, <gasps> the e some eat girl levels. Uh, he's very scary, I know. I know, don't be afraid, it's fine. <laughs> Greg is our um, friend. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's actually nice, but he's not. <laughs> sometimes he's nice, he's nice and sometimes he's not. <laughs> um, we actually have no idea if he is RNG or not, because it seems like he is. But, uh, the developer of the game, uh... Insists that it's not! Yeah, he's been <laughs> saying that it's not. So, uh... We so we don't really know. We haven't cracked the code quite yet, but... Greg, you have to really pay attention. You can't, like, get complacent, because he can do a lot of movements that you're just not expecting to see. Oh my gosh, grab that dot, please. Alright. So yeah, the enemies can use uh, portals too, as you saw there, um, which is kind of cool, but also can be really uh, scary. <laughs> Going into transmission, one of the hardest levels for me casually and in the speedrun. Yeah, this level is tough because uh, it's hard to keep track of where all the electricity is from the Gordos because ah. it goes through the portals, and uh, and so it just ends up somewhere where you don't expect. Yeah. And there is a strat that pretty much uh, that pretty much dodges all of the uh, electricity just because of the route you take through the level, which is what Frozen's doing right now. Yeah, there's a one faster strat, but it's like really tight, so I always I do the one slower, and it, it's it's very consistent for dodging everything. Oh my gosh! Get in the portal, please. <laughs> Sometimes overworld movement is the hardest part, just getting between the levels. Come on, Dot. Oh, that, I was afraid of the recorder there. This level is really interesting in that you can get the dots in any order that you wish. Um, so I usually like to go left first. Trying to get this Greggling out of my way. It's Greggling. He was being really aggressive right there. <laughs> Sometimes it'll just, he'll just warp away and you're not having to worry, but like sometimes it's a big mess. And it's time for more Greg. Let's get some Gregs in the chat. Hello, friend. Yeah, this uh, this level looks a lot like uh, a previous level. I uh, I don't remember the name. Highway. Uh, <laughs> highway. Yes. Um, except this time it's Greg. Yeah, there's Greg. Oh, and he almost got in my way there. Which, you know, it makes it ten times harder and scarier. Yep, exactly. 
And here we have my personal favorite enemy, the Smish. We also call them Thwomps, because obviously... They work like Thwomps. Yep. They'll always travel all the way to the end of the screen in the direction where they find you, um, which makes it very easy to basically control what they're doing. So as long as you kind of have your path sorted out, this level is not too bad, but casually I found this level to be very hard. <laughs> yeah, without a strat, it's tough. Oh, that's face first. Nope. Whoops. Yeah, that's one of the points where uh, we routed out uh, an RNG level, which the face level face first, which uh, she first tried to go into. Um, that's uh, that's what used to be in the route, um, but it was replaced by this level assembly line um, because it's not only much faster if you don't die, but it also uh, it's also way more consistent because the level face first has a uh, has a few greglings and right. We avoid They're those at all costs. <laughs> yeah, and uh, depending on where they go, uh, you could either gain or lose a lot of time if you could do play with face first. Yep. And you hear the music. You must know who's coming. It's Greg with a late arrival. Let's go, Greg. Oh my gosh, he is doing a lot right now. Usually this level's not too bad, but sometimes his behavior can be really annoying. All right. So then we kind of just run around for a little bit while the portal spawns. And uh, somehow we're already at the end of the run. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, this is the last level. It's called Escape. And uh, you do exactly that. You escape. This is a really fun level. It's a great ending to the game. You really just like rush to the end. It's all about not bonking. Um, and you get to see all the enemies in the background. I, I really love this ending. Well, all the enemies. Uh, there's no Greg in this level. Oh, you're right. I mean, Sorry. Greg in this level would not make it relaxing and fun. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love Greg. Alright! Perfect escape. No box. Yeah, it was a good escape. Woo! Alright. That's time. I'm so sorry I did not say time. <laughs> so yeah, that is Eat Girl Any Percent. Shows off 18 levels. Uh, there are, I believe, 32 total. We do yeah, 24 in all standard levels, and we do 32 in 100%. Uh, this is a really great speed game. Uh, we have, like, strats for all of the levels mapped out. Um, so if you're ever interested, you can talk to me or join the Eat Girl Discord. Uh, this game was in the Itch.io bundle for racial equality, so many people already own this and don't know it. Uh, it's a great casual game and a great speed game. Thanks, Comet, for being here and commentating for me. Yeah, of course. This is a lot of fun. That we are back from Eat Girl Any Percent. That one went by in a flash, but we'll have more of Frozen Fly Gone with Hamta Row Ham Ham Games Any Percent to Know minigame skips. After that, Hello Kitty Cruisers by Fire Splitter. Y'all just want Karomi. I know. So, it will happen. I'm getting ready, so I'm heading back to Frozen. Alright, GBA. Okay, then. I'm Taro. Yeah, Frozen. We have okay. you here and we have you live. I'm live? What? Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> to spring that on you. Um, yeah, we had a little switch up with uh, the audio setup in. And ah! That's why we, dro oh, we had. I had my faithful restreamer drop you in here. 
But now that I have you here, what what uh, brought you to run Hamter Rope? What are you saying? Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to get set up. I'm doing many, <laughs> many things at once. I can't brain and talk. Nah, no problem. Okay, I have the game set up. Um, Perfect. So I have... Alright, we should be good. Alright, cool. <laughs> Um, I've been playing Hintaro games since I was a kid. I have, a, like, a hundred Hintaros in my house. I also have Hintaro plushies, which I'm gonna go get right now, actually. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Cuteness is always welcome and encouraged. 